Hey guys, welcome to BulbaTube. I am not Professor Bulba, as you can see. My name is Bastion. I have my own YouTube channel called Bastion Time, where I babble endlessly about Nintendo news every day. But Professor Bulba has invited me over onto this channel to share with you guys my own personal favorite list of top 10 weird Nintendo facts. So let's get to it. But oh yeah, I forgot on this channel, you're expected to wear a tank top, so. There we go! That's chilly. Anyways, let's get on to that list. Number one, Nintendo is super old. It is, as I'm recording this, 126 years old. That's crazy. It was founded in 1889. No, they were not making video games back in 1889. They made trading cards, playing cards, a lot of them with kind of risque art, and that is a recurring theme, and we'll get to that in a future fact. Nintendo was not always family friendly as it is today. Number two, Nintendo's name actually means something. Nin, Ten, and Do are three separate Japanese words. When you put them all together, it becomes leave luck to heaven, which is a very pretty phrase, but maybe a bit diametrically opposed to my own personal philosophy. But anyways, number three. As I mentioned, Nintendo wasn't always so family friendly, especially since their inception where they're making those cards with risque art. In the 60s, they used to run a love hotel. Now, for those not familiar in Japan, there were and still are hotels where you can rent the room per hour. And you probably don't need me to be explicit as far as what the purpose was because it's kind of in the name. Number four, Nintendo totally ripped off Lego for a period of time. Yes, they created their own blocks, which looks awfully suspiciously like Legos. They called them NMB block. And uh, Lego did try to sue Nintendo saying, hey, that's a little too close to our thing. But the suit was unsuccessful because Nintendo had rounded edges on some of their blocks. So that was viewed to be different enough to not be a total ripoff. As an homage to the NMB blocks and Super Mario Land 2, there's an entire stage that's full of them. Number five, speaking of lawsuits against Nintendo, Universal Studios at one point tried to sue Nintendo. They owned uh, King Kong at the time and they felt like Donkey Kong when it first came out a little too similar in concept to King Kong, so they tried to sue Nintendo. Nintendo's American lawyer, John Kirby, won the lawsuit saying, at this point, King Kong is in public domain. Nintendo was so pleased with Mr. Kirby that they went ahead and gave him a sailboat called Donkey Kong and gave him the exclusive rights to be the only person in the world to have a sailboat called Donkey Kong. Number six, the D-pad. Yes, this cross-shaped button thing was originally invented by Nintendo. They were the first person to create it. You see it on all game pads these days, but Nintendo created it for a handheld version of Donkey Kong. That was the very first time the D-pad ever appeared, a handheld exclusive for Donkey Kong. Number seven, Nintendo owns a baseball team. They own the Seattle Mariners. They bought it in 1992 because Nintendo of America's headquarters is close enough to Seattle and I guess they just really felt like they needed a baseball team. People thought that they might change the mascot to something like Mario or whatever, but no, they kept the mascot exactly the same. And you would never really know that Nintendo owns Seattle Mariners. They don't really advertise it or anything, but they do. Number eight, Nintendo designed a phone. That's right, back in the early 2000s, they teamed up with Nokia. Nokia basically designed the phone, but Nintendo's board of directors totally rejected it. Which is kind of amusing because now tons of people are saying, wow, it'd be so cool if Nintendo invented a smartphone that you can play Nintendo games on. And uh, they are saying, no, that is never gonna happen. But what a lot of people don't know is they had already invented a phone that would have played Nintendo games probably and that just didn't come to pass. Number nine, the Game Boy was invented by a janitor, basically. It was actually a maintenance worker who was working on the assembly line and the president at the time, it was not a WADA back then, he was doing a tour of the assembly line and he happened to see that this uh, maintenance worker had in his own spare time invented this toy thing and he was like, wow, this guy is a designer. What is he doing doing maintenance here on an assembly line? So he immediately moved him to the design team. 
and then he invented the Game Boy. And number 10, Super Mario Kart originally had characters celebrating by chugging bottles of champagne. That's right, drinking and driving, kids. That is totally the antithesis of Nintendo's usual stance on these kinds of things. Suffice it to say, when the game came to America, we didn't have the champagne chugging victory. So that's it for my list of the top 10 weirdest Nintendo facts. If you want to visit my own channel where each day I babble about the latest in Nintendo news, you can go ahead and click here and visit me over there. See you guys next time. Bye guys.